This is a dumbbell bicep curl exercise. This exercise targets your bicep muscles. When performing this exercise, remember to keep your elbows close to your body and complete the movement through a full range of motion. Try to maintain a tight core to prevent yourself from swaying back and forth. For further stability, you can position your feet in a split stance. This is the medicine ball torso rotation. This exercise targets your core abdominal muscles. When performing this exercise, be sure to engage your core muscles as you rotate from side to side, and watch that you do not round your back. This is the bird dog exercise. This exercise targets your core abdominal muscles and glutes. To perform this exercise, extend one arm and the opposite leg. Be sure to keep your back flat and your shoulders square. This is the calf raise machine. This machine works your calf muscles. Stand upright and adjust the shoulder pads so they rest comfortably on your shoulders. As a safety reminder, secure the pin when selecting your proper weight. Remember not to lock your knees and ensure a full range of motion by coming up all the way on your toes. This is the lat pull-down machine. This machine targets your back, biceps, and core. Remember to stabilize your core, keep your feet flat on the floor, and position your hands just outside your shoulders. Lower the bar to chest level while maintaining a straight back. Also remember never to lower the bar behind your neck. The leg press is an exercise that primarily focuses on quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. For the standard leg press, place your feet shoulder width apart, press against the plate, and release the lock on the sides. Let the plate come down to make a 90 degree angle in your legs, and then press up. Make sure not to lock your knees. The shoulder press is an exercise which primarily targets the front of the shoulders and the triceps. Adjust the bench so that the backrest is upright and have the seat flat, making a 90 degree angle between the seat and backrest. While resting your head against the backrest, press the weight directly over your head. This is a squat. This exercise targets your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Position your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Be sure to keep your body upright as you lower to a 90 degree angle. Watch your knees so that they do not drape over in front of your toes. The tricep extension is an exercise that focuses primarily on the triceps. When performing this exercise, it may be helpful to use a split stance to avoid swaying as much as possible. Make sure to keep your elbows tucked as close to your head as possible to avoid them from flaring out to the sides. Another way to avoid elbow flare is to do one arm at a time, using the free hand to hold the elbow in place. This is a stability ball sit-up. This exercise targets your core abdominal muscles. When performing this exercise, remember to maintain a full range of motion and keep your feet flat on the floor. The push-up is a standard calisthenic exercise that primarily focuses on the chest, triceps, shoulders, and core. With your hands placed shoulder width apart, lower your body till your upper arm is parallel with the ground, then recover to the starting position. The chest press is primarily a chest and tricep exercise. When adjusting the machine for your specific body, you want to raise or lower the seat and handlebar arm so that the handlebars are at or as close to chest height as possible. Using a wide grip, as shown first, will target more of the chest, while the lower grips will target the triceps. This is the bicycle crunch. It targets your core abdominal muscles, especially your obliques. While performing this exercise, fully engage your core. Press your lower back into the mat. Keep the motion slow and controlled. Remember to rotate your shoulders and squeeze your abs. Do not pull on your head or shoulders, but focus on the abdominal contraction. 